Hey baby, happy birthday. You know, I can't believe that we've spent half of our lives together. That is just crazy. Um, and it's your 50th birthday and I wanted to do something special for you. So I hope that you like it. Um, you know, I want to just tell you that you are an amazing man. Um, I don't know if I say it often enough. Um, and if I had only one word to describe what makes you so amazing, I think that one word would be penis. No, but seriously, um, sandwiched between English 102 class 25 years ago to our cozy, quiet, empty nest in Oregon with Della, we've really managed to mush together a lot of memories and a lot of fun times. And I can't talk about all of them because some of them are kind of inappropriate, but I decided to list the top five things that you've taught me, one for every decade of life, okay? So are you ready? Okay. So the first one is creativity and persistence pays off. Um, so your one of a kind pickup line of can I borrow a pencil um, happened so many times during our college class that I really started to think if you even owned a pencil, but that persistence paid off and you got my phone number and we started dating. Um, so persistence and creativity. Okay, um, number two. Always use common sense, and if it sounds like a lie, it probably is. So, um, no one can ever fool you. You have so much common sense, and um, I remember uh, that time that uh, it was one of our first dates, and I was trying to convince you that I had a glass eye, remember? Um, and so, um, after much serious staring back and forth into each other's eyes, you made me laugh and I fessed up and um, yeah, it was a lie. Um, but your common sense is always pretty grounded, it's really foundational and you're my sense of reality in, in all sorts of situations. So, Okay, number three, you will always defend me and always have my back. Okay, so another date. So do you remember that time I got pulled over? Um, uh, we were driving to the casino and I made like a, a legal left hand turn or something and the cop pulled me over and he made me get out of the car and I was, we were out of earshot of you so you can hear what we were talking about but we were talking and then he just gave me a warning and I got back in the car and I decided to tease you and I said, did you know he gave me a ticket and you said for what and, um, and I said because you weren't wearing your seatbelt. And he said, well, he can't do that. He can't do that. And you jumped out of the car before I could even stop you. And you went to go talk to the policeman. And um, that conversation lasted just a few short seconds. And when you realized that I really didn't get a ticket and you got back into the car and I was laughing so hard, I couldn't stop. So um, yeah, you'll always have my back. You'll always defend me no matter what. Um, number four is, um, Never throw a tortilla chip at you when I'm angry. Enough said. Uh, I almost walked home that night, and um, I promise I will never do that again. Okay. And number five, no matter how much I hurt you, you will never leave me. Um, so does this ring a bell? Open the window! Open the window! <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was the time that I rolled your, car, your tongue up in the car window. Um, yeah, you came out, I was driving home from work, and I got pulled in the driveway, you came to give me a kiss, you stuck your tongue out, and I hit the automatic window button, and your tongue got trapped in the car window, and I felt so terrible, so bad, um, but I was also laughing so hard I couldn't stop. Um, and your tongue was like bruised and swollen for a few days, but you never left me. Um, you stayed with me, and to me, that is a new definition of unconditional love. So, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Um, five great lessons that I've learned from you. And, um, you know, we have so many memories behind us and so many more to come. Um, I love you so much, and I hope you enjoy your gift.
since we can't be there, we just wanted to share a couple of fun memories and things that we've learned from you since we've known you, which seems like forever now. Um, so I would say my favorite memory with you is when you took us, it was just Anthony and I when we went out and visited, and you took us to feed the owls. Um, I couldn't believe that that's what we were going to actually do, watching you tie a mouse to the end of the stick and thinking an owl is actually going to come and eat it was really crazy to me. It happened and it was super cool. It was kind of cool to see like what you actually do day in and day out. I know we always call you the owl man, but to see it actually in action was cool. Um, and then if I had to think of a lesson that I've learned from you throughout the years, it would probably be to always wear sunscreen. And I can say I'm terrible about it, but I've gotten better since you told me. So thanks, Darren. Happy birthday. Oh, Chloe's up. Happy birthday, Darren. Um, my favorite memory with you was when you taught us how to play donkey parts, even though I don't remember how to play. <laughs> so maybe you should have taught them more rules. I don't know. Yeah, come on, Darren. Uh, happy birthday, old guy. <laughs> and you taught me that if you're not cheating, you're never trying hard enough. That's, that's a great lesson. I think I've learned that a time or two from you. Um, amongst others, uh, I would have to say one of my favorite memories uh, with you. Uh, I went up there, um, and you took me on one of the coolest hikes I've ever been on in my life. I know there was a lot of switchbacks in the beginning, but once we broke through some of the, the jungly forest up there, uh, we, we ended up on a cliff and it was like overlooking the ocean. It was just absolutely gorgeous and stunning and uh, I don't know, I really enjoyed spending that quality time with you. Um, I appreciated you coaching us to uh, undefeated season with the Green Gators and uh, I would have to say too that uh, the, the uh, biggest lesson I learned from you is to always lock up my toothbrush because you never know who's going to use it to scrub their dog's balls with it. Like what the fuck man? Happy birthday. Happy birthday to Happy 50th birthday. Uh, it's a big one for you. Um, so some of the fond memories that I have with you are our hunting trips together, our fishing trips, uh, playing basketball, tons of basketball. Um, early on when we were playing the NFL Blitz and things when you'd get home from, from work. Um, all those good memories together, camping and, and everything else. So um, lots of fond memories of vacations and just, you know, being a family together. Um, some of the biggest lessons that I've learned from you is just, you know, to be honest, to be truthful, to always be yourself, um, treat people with respect, and to kind of, you know, always be happy. Just, just be yourself and be true. So, um, I love you and uh, happy 50th birthday. birthday Darren thank you for being a big part of my life and thank you for raising such a great son who is the most important part of my life and um, so in memories of us together um, in 13 years there's many but one that always stands out in my mind is when we played phase 10 and you, you kept skipping me and then You, you kept skipping me and then you, you kept skipping me and then you, 
you, know, you kept skipping me and then found out I was pregnant. That one always sticks out in my head the most. And um, many lessons I've learned from you over the years um, was always budgeting and living within our means and being financially smart. Um, always researching things before getting into it and just understanding life. I feel like you are a big reason Dustin and I are where we're at today. So thank you for everything you do and I appreciate you and love you and can't wait for many more years. Happy birthday. Happy 50th birthday, Grandpa. You've taught me how to fish, be the Pokemon master, er, and tell me so much stuff. I'm just, whoosh. well, um, and some good memories me and you had is, um, when, um, Della, when we taught her, when we were playing with Della, and when, when we were going fishing, me, me you, Verdi, and my dad we were going fishing. We caught some fish, had some laughs, had a fun time. Happy 50th birthday. I can't wait to have more years with you. Happy 50th birthday. He said, Love you. Love you. Happy you day, Taryn. Today I celebrate you turning half a century year old because this world is a better place because you are in it. You are an amazing friend who is always there for me. Even though we might not always talk, every time we pick up the phone or see each other, it's like no time has lapsed at all. And you're always in my heart. You are a phenomenal father who raised a young boy into an outstanding young man, and you should be proud of that. You are a lovely human being who cares so deeply and loves unconditionally that it inspires me to be a better person. I have been honored to be your ex-sister for all of these years. Um, it's hard to believe we've known each other for over 30 years now, and I can't imagine my life without you. Um, and as your ex-sister, you will always be my favorite ex-brother. Um, Although the competition has not been um, very challenging for you for that title, um, but I have faith that you will continue to be my favorite ex-brother for always and forever. And I love you and happy birthday. Hey Darren, welcome to the Mid-Century Club. Now that you're 50 though, you need to learn to relax a little bit. You can't be yelling at the TV, getting all worked up about football. You want to be able to last through the end of Dak's impending long-term deal and enjoy many future football seasons. So anyway, take a breath, uh, enjoy your 50, and uh, cheers.
Darren. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. I was gonna try to do a fancy video for you, but this is just, this, this is my life. That <laughs> you get this for your birthday video. Happy birthday! We sure do love you guys, and I hope it's an awesome birthday. It's the big 5-0. It's a big deal. Hope it's awesome. And these are my children. I was just thinking the other day about the time that I stayed the night at your guys' house and ate like 17 servings of that rice pilaf and then got sick that night and kept you guys up all night. So much fun for you guys. <laughs> um, yeah, I just thought it was only appropriate to remind you of the glorious memory of babysitting me through the entire day and the entire night of the slumber party. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day. Um, also, I hope the Cowboys win. Say so we hope the Cowboys go to the Super Bowl this year, right? Maybe so this is the year, all because of your 50th yeah. birthday. They're playing pretty good. So yeah. we love you. We hope you have a good day. Yeah. And go Cowboys. Hi there. I hope you enjoy your birthday. Just remember, okay, wait, I can't see it. Remember, yay, it was my birthday first. My first. Anyway, I hope that you have an awesome day. Oh, wait, wait, I, I forgot it. Look, I bought you for you. See? Yay! Go, Steelers! <laughs> hey, Darren. You suck. The Cowboys are terrible. And you're very old. Happy birthday. Chandler, Arizona, in the humble abode of Chris Rizzo's one bedroom apartment, I would like to share uh, my favorite memory of Mr. Darren Bolin, aka Spooky Tooth, aka Uncle Darren, aka Second Father. Um, I known him well for many years and I would say my favorite memory was when I first met him in the first couple of years that I'd known him. Um, I didn't know how much of a jokester he was and how much of a prankster he is. Um, so when I was a little kid visiting uh, your guys' house, Aunt Kathy and Uncle Darren's house, um, Uncle Darren had this great idea to have competitions and if you know Darren well at all, um, he loves to be competitive and win, win, win all the time and so it was like my goal to win everything I could around him. Um, so he had this great idea to do what is called a boat competition where me, Anthony, and DJ were to make our race boats out of uh, construction paper. And he would fill up a tub of water and, um, and have us race paper boats. Well, we spent about an hour making our great boat, um, not knowing that it was just gonna be a prank. And, uh, so when we got it all done, um, we put our boats into that big pan or tub of water that he had going for us. And he said, okay, on the count of three, I want you to get as close to your boat without touching your paper boat and blow <sighs> as hard as you can and try to make your boat go from one end of the tub all the way 
to the other end of the tub. So me, Anthony, and DJ were determined to win this race for uh, Darren. And so we were getting ready to do it. We got really close. We were working on our breaths. <sighs> trying to uh, get as much air as possible uh, to blow our boat as quick as possible. We we're getting up really close to the boat, boat and he said, okay, three, two, one. And then it was all a joke and he dumped all the water, splashed all the water on us. I was completely soaked. Um, I was humiliated, and this would not be the last time I was humiliated by Uncle Darren. Um, I was humiliated, and I was uh, the only one that wasn't laughing at the time. I got really mad, and I was uh, running after him, chasing him around the house, chasing him in the backyard, fuming, furious at Uncle Darren. Um, and that's my story, and there would be many more pranks to come, uh, like the Wedgie Master, um, that would be a few years later when I was a little kid, he would uh, pretend that he was the Wedgie Master and give us lethal wedgies where he would stick our foot um, all the way, or he would pull up our underpants all the way to our foot, and then we would get stuck uh, in the, what was called the lethal wedgie. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's my uncle Darren. Have a good one. Hey Darren, it's Mary Ann. Hey, just wanted to say happy 50th birthday. Um, I remember us meeting at Game and Fish in Arizona, and I think it was when we were bear trapping, and uh, and we were at the uh, Four Peaks, uh, yeah, Four Peaks, um, doing some bear trapping at the cabin, and how disgustingly dirty we got with all the fish guts and everything else. Um, but we had a lot of fun and it was great meeting you there. And then I remember you driving up one time with your big old truck and your big old dog. <laughs> I was like shocked of how big your dog was. <laughs> and what have I learned from you? Hmm, that's a good question. Cause I do know one major thing, never to give you my dog again. <laughs> Otherwise, he's going to have purple all over him and a mohawk. <laughs> I wish you the very best of the 50th birthday. Um, it's unbelievable that we've known each other for a long time since Arizona Game of Fish, and now we're both living in Oregon. So that's pretty cool. Uh, cherish your guys' friendship, yours and Kathy's, and I hope you have a happy fifth. Bye. Hey Darren, happy birthday! <laughs> it won't go! Happy birthday, Darren! Happy birthday! <laughs> nice. The plant kingdom has their goofball. The wildlife kingdom has their goofball. The fungi kingdom has their goofball. And the Cascade Field Office has uh, their outlier. <laughs> Happy birthday, Darren. <laughs> Hello, Darren. Thank you so much for helping all the wildlife over the past few years. Although I do regret you hurting my friend and taking her eye out. Hi, Dan. All the wildlife really appreciates your help. Happy birthday, Dan. Happy 
birthday from Arizona, old man. Can you believe it's 20 years since we were down on the San Pedro, down at Roosevelt, you and your big old motor home, showing up all the field crew and supervisors with your satellite dish. You know, I looked for pictures from that time, and I didn't have any. I think we were either too smart or too drunk to take pictures, and I really think it's the latter. Hey, it was so good to see you a few years ago. We need to make that a regular occurrence. We had a lot of fun up there in Camden Beach. I miss you guys. I just wanted to say happy birthday. I just wanted to give you a toast to you, to your family, to Kathy for putting all this together, and to tell you that um, here's to our friendship. Have a great 50th birthday. Salud, my friend. Oh, go Pats. Hey, just checking in to say happy birthday to the only man I know who's been outrun by a desert tortoise. I just wanted to say you were a great employee and an even better supervisor. And maybe one day you'll even learn to spell your name right. So happy birthday, buddy. Stay happy, stay healthy. Here's to another 50. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> I wanted to record a tribute, a tribute to a very, very good friend of mine. I've written down some, some words that I think best describe this individual, and I'd just like to uh, just go through the words, and uh, it'll be the simplest tribute ever. Put my eyes on. This gentleman is considerate, friendly, an all-around good person. He's very nice, compassionate, sympathetic, benevolent. He's kind-hearted, warm-hearted, good-hearted. He's charitable, he's gentle, he's gracious. He's just a sweet guy. He's classy, he's good-natured, he's amiable. He's warm and generous. He's thoughtful, pleasant, tender, humorous. He's helpful. He's obliging, he's caring, cordial and courteous, magnanimous. He's tender-hearted, he's understanding, he's agreeable, he's polite, he's unselfish, he's loving. He's a forgiving person. He's very patient. He's mellow, well-disposed. He's intelligent, easygoing, He's peaceful, cooperative, approachable. He just has a heart. He's a very feeling person. And he's a very good looking guy. Yes, Pete, I wanted to wish you a very, very happy birthday. What? I'm talking about Pete. Darren. Darren? Roland? Um, sorry about that. Uh, he's okay too. Happy birthday, Uncle Darren! We love you! I'm still waiting for you to try that yourself. <laughs> so, 
Happy birthday, Nero. This is a scene from Darren's favorite movie. Yeah! Yeah! Over the years, we've learned that Darren is a very good fisherman. Over the years, we've learned that Darren's favorite breakfast food is dog nuts. Who let the dog out? 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 The body was bad, the body was pumping. Everybody have a Happy, Happy 50th, 50th birthday, Darren. Oh, Happy 50th birthday, Darren. Happy birthday. <laughs> All right. Happy birthday, Darren. Uh, congratulations on making it to 50. I'm relieved to know that chasing me and DJ around for all these years uh, did make you keel over early. I uh, just want to let you know, uh, you know how grateful I am uh, to have you as a part of my life. And I wanted to say thank you uh, for everything that you've done for me. Uh, you've always been there for me when I needed it. And I, uh, you know, I, I really appreciate that. And I can't begin to tell you how much that means to me. Um, so again, I just want to say thank you. Uh, congratulations. I hope you have a great birthday. And I uh, hope you get to do something fun. I love you, man. Have a good one. Hey Darren, happy 50th birthday. Hope the next half of your life is as amazing as the first half. Hope to see you soon, bye. Hi Darren, happy big five zero man. Um, I just uh, wanted to say happy birthday to you and I remember the first time we went out and uh, fed an owl some mice and that was that was such great fun. I remember putting the mouse on the end of the stick and holding it up high and just watching this big huge owl come at me with talons right at the mouse and it flies back to the branch and the first thing you say is what color band was it wearing on its ankle? <laughs> that was the coolest thing ever and uh, thanks for bringing me out there and ex you know letting me experience that with you. And um, <clears throat> something that I have learned from you is that I just need to be more open-minded. And, you know, it was hard getting to know someone who really loved the Dallas Cowboys as much as you do. And getting past that and just being like, you know, just because this guy loves the Cowboys doesn't mean I can't love him. And I just want to thank you for being the greatest guy ever. 
Even though you like the Dallas Cowboys, I love you still. Happy birthday, Darren. Happy 50th birthday, Darren. Uh, welcome to the 50 Club. One of my first memories of Darren was uh, at the uh, old condos there in Glendale, Arizona with him running around, always with shorts on, no shoes, no shirt. Him and Hector running around, jumping out of trees into pools and, you know, doing all kinds of crazy stuff. And uh, it didn't take Darren long to become uh, one of the Martinez clan, pretty much, um, which is hard to do. There's only been a couple of people who kind of entered that uh, inner circle of the Martinez family, but uh, um, we pretty much consider consider you part of the family. So, um, and all those years of us uh, hunting and fishing and partying and you know rabbit thons and all that stuff, um, those were all really good memories. Um, hopefully, you remember it all. I know we do. We talk about it all the time, and uh, you still owe us a. Uh, or I should say, Clayton and I still owe you and Hector a rematch on the Rabbitthon someday before we get too old. But anyway, just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Um, hopefully someday we can all get together again and uh, celebrate all our birthdays. But for now, hope you have a great day. And uh, remember, you still got a lot of time left to do some fun stuff. So um, come on, visit us sometime here in Minnesota. I'll take you fishing. All righty, take care, guys. Bye. Darren Keith Bolin is 50 years old. What the hell? Where did the time go, buddy? Happy birthday. I wanted to give you a shout, man, and let you know I'm thinking about you on your big day. And welcome to the 50 Club. Stock up on Ben Gay, you're gonna need it. You might need these soon, too. Look at this shit. I can't even see my phone without these. I can't see anything without these. Uh, man, I miss you. Uh, hope you have a good birthday. I hear you're hunting. I hope that's successful. Um, been reflecting on uh, all the years we've known each other with your big day coming up. Brings back a lot of memories, brother. Recording songs. You're a songwriting aficionado with Moose Goosen. You got Rabbit. That was the number one bestseller. And I believe <laughs> Sadomasticus was one of the songs on that tape that your arsonist son burned up in the house fire. I'm kidding about that. That was a tragedy all around. But uh, yeah, man, uh, wanted to bring up a couple of uh, a couple of good memories with you. Diving out of trees in the pool. Of course, great hunts. I think I said that already. Um, one in particular, <laughs> it's kind of an inside joke, but uh, I think my favorite quote from you is, I don't feel anything yet. <laughs> you know what that's about. <laughs> anyway, just want to say happy birthday. Um, looks like you're living a storied life, as it should be. You've got a great wife, a great son, great family, great grandkids. Well, not great grandkids yet, but grandkids that are great. And uh, yeah, I miss you, man. And uh, you know, give Karen a hug for me. <laughs> Kathy, I know it's Kathy. Relax. Anyway, happy birthday. And I got this a few minutes ago. I, I actually drank it already. I don't drink much. I rarely drink anymore, but I had a shot in celebration, early celebration of your birthday. So, and maybe it'll make my throat feel better. Give me a call, man. Let's catch up. But uh, big hugs to you and the family. Be well and enjoy your big day, brother. Peace. Good morning and happy 50th birthday, Darren. I couldn't be happier to help celebrate your birthday, your 50th especially. The first thing I'd like to contribute to this video is a funny that I will always remember about you and I just loved it and to this day I get a chuckle out of it. 
you would, uh, this is back when you were a teenager and the boys were also, you all had long hair, used blow dryers and styling stuff. And um, you would get your shower at home clear across the neighborhood and you'd realize your hair dryer was broken or blew, uh, blew up or you didn't have one that morning for some reason. And you would put your towel around your shoulders, no shirt on, and come all the way across the, the, the neighborhood in winter. It was cold out. And you'd knock on our door to see if you could borrow um, a hairdryer for the boys or I. And you did this several times and I would scold you and say, Darren, it's winter, it's freezing out there. Get in here and get, or get on home where it's warm. Do you want a jacket to put on? No, I'm fine. <laughs> you were always just fine. Wet head, wet skin, everything. But um, I still laugh to this day about that. And the next thing is what a wonderful lifelong friend you have turned, in, turned out to be for Papa Hector and I and for the boys, and especially Hector. Um, you're just a, a great guy, and we're just so proud of you and where your life's gone and what direction you've taken. And for you and Kathy, uh, and what a love that is between the two of you, um, it just pleases me so much to be able to celebrate that also. You were always like a fourth son to Papa Hector and I, and always will be. There's so many good memories that we have of you um, being around in our family and during events and barbecues, cooking the weird foods in the backyard and the pots of Puerto Rican foods in the kitchen and you never complained, you ate well and just enjoyed being around you. It was uh, a wonderful time. Um, we also have memories of the living room, the band room, the weight room, the karaoke room, and the Christmas Eves at our house. They were just great, and had you not been there, they would not have been the same. So thank you for always being there. I, was, um, I will always remember the day that you drove up to our house in Glendale, and this is after your little son, DJ, was born. Um, and this brings tears to my eyes, but you drove up with that beautiful infant son of yours in the front seat of your Jeep, and we're heading to Washington to start a better life for the two of you. And Papa Hector and I were brokenhearted to see you go. However, we knew that this is something you had to do, that it was the best thing for you and him, and you made it so. You've had a wonderful life, you and Kathy and the boys, and everything's just worked out beautifully. And DJ was the most beautiful infant boy I've ever seen. Uh, I can't tell you how I cried that day after you left. Anyways, it was a good thing for you, and you, you did it right. And the next thing, and the last thing for right now, is that when Papa Hector passed, you would call me every single week. Never, you, you would call and check on me every week without fail for a whole year or more, you did this. And I can't tell you what a comfort in my grieving process that gave me. It was just a wonderful gift, Darren. And um, what a lesson to others. Stay in touch with those who are grieving. It does make a difference. All right, you have a fantastic happy birthday and enjoy your family and your friends and your life. And know that I'm here always and still love you like our fourth son. Bye, Darren. Hi, Darren. Happy birthday to you. I want to tell you, uh, 50, it's a great thing. Um, you're getting closer to being able to putt your age, as they say. Now, that, well, maybe not quite there yet. And that, of course, is nine. 
I would probably give it a few more years and you'll, you'll be able to do that. Um, the things you've taught me this since I've known you is uh, never give up. Never give up. It's a big word, but you are have shown me and taught me the game of patience and uh, I appreciate that. And when, when you're behind, don't quit. I have a special guest here. She really would like to see you. Come on in. Oh, oh, jump right up. Okay. Hi. Oh, do you know her? She says uh, she's been dying this morning just to talk to you. Um, yeah, this is the stag. Um, hear that? Still solid. Um, there. Good shot. There you are. You want to go back? Okay. Darren, I want to tell you, uh, happy birthday, bottom of my heart. And all joking aside, um, thank you for golfing with me. It's uh, really fun, and I mean that. Uh, win or lose, and it's about a split half the time. So, take care, buddy. Uh, I'll see you on the course. Hi, Darren. I'm so happy and honored that the whole family elected me to do this tribute to you. And I have a few things to say. What? Oh, I thought they elected me. I guess everybody's doing this, so I better just do it and get out of the way so everybody else gets their stuff in. Anyway, happy 50th birthday. 50 is just a number because yesterday was my 50th high school reunion. So it's not that bad. You got a lot to look forward to, my friend. A lot. Senior discounts, doctor's appointments, all the great things for when you turn 60. Now you can go out, you can eat dinners out different, different places at 50, you can go drinking. When you turn 60, you get to drink in shore instead. It's really good stuff, so stock up on it. Anyway, they, they do a lot of senior discounts, so when you turn 60, let me know. I have the list, and I can turn you on to all these different discount places. You might find yourself eating a lot of fast food, but I guess that's okay. So anyway, we wish you a happy 50th birthday. Take care of yourself. I hope to see you soon. Okay, what he didn't tell you is at 50, you got on your calendar all these hot dates, your vacation days. When you get to the 60s and stuff, the only thing on your calendar is doctor's appointments. Keep a track of them. Oh, how true that is. <laughs> Happy 50th uh, birthday, Darren, and we'll see you soon. Happy Bye -bye. birthday. Bye. that's it I hope you enjoyed your birthday video and all the tributes um, you know over the past 50 years you have made an impact on so many people's lives including mine and Della loves you too um, so happy birthday sweetheart I love you so much mm -hmm.